Hello and welcome to Insane Aquarium. I'm Entrance Joe. I'm Tai Tai. I'm some piece of shit. I don't know. And I'm Tanks, aka Jan Administrator, whatever. This is our actual virtual fish tank where we have our fish. We can keep them there. We like to keep them there. Dilbert! As opposed to the story mode. I forgot what I was going to do with this fish. Maroon. Oh, I thought you were going to name it Maroon 5. <laughs> that would have been funnier. I, I usually name all my fish Dilbert. Everyone got off easy this time. So that we could keep track at home. Unless they're hungry. I usually just give them random names. So, uh, is this supposed to be an asylum or something? It's, uh... Not that insane. Not as in uh, insane as I expected it to be. This is actually the tutorial segment for Dark Souls. Welcome to the Undead Asylum. <laughs> <laughs> the little clam gave us, uh... More shells. Shells are what we obtain during the bonus games in the story mode. But here's a special fish. Santa. We were going to name him Santa. Okay. Everyone gets the Santa fish. That's not the color he was when we got him in the store. Something's wrong with this fish. Oh no. What? It's a music fish. Um, it's a Santa fish that's playing Christmas music. Is it supposed to be doing this? He's full of mids. If you think this is Christmas <laughs> music, you need to get your ears checked. <laughs> that was We Three Kings. Was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes! It doesn't sound like it. Yeah, it said it across the bottom. Oh, huh. Okay, so there's the second part. These fish, they'll drop the shells, and you can collect them to get more shells if you don't want to play the story mode. You can just have a virtual tank and get things very slowly. Man, if Santa keeps eating like this, he's gonna have a bowl full of jelly. This is also a uh, screensaver. <laughs> yes, you can make this a screensaver, and you can get shells while you're not even paying attention. It's adventure. For those of you stuck in 1998, you can relive that experience. <laughs> go to the next level. Come on, Zorf. Let's go. Oh, we're not taking Zorf. <laughs> Prego. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to actually consider it. I, I forgot what I'd done. There are certain things coming up which uh, made me hesitate to decide on certain fish. Apparently on the other side of the world, everything goes faster. Yeah, I, I've begun to speed up the videos because they're just... Holy shit! Th this was a 50 minute recording. Yeah, the tanks, the tanks get really long the further you go. Who's that guy? This is our new little guy. Hi. He is a guppy cruncher. He crunches on guppies. He shits out beetles. <laughs> Whoa. That'll happen. I like these guys. They're pretty cool. They're nice. They're... Sometimes they're a trouble. It's easy to feed them. I actually, no. It's kind of difficult to feed them. Because... They f they feed on guppies, and you gotta get the guppies down to the bottom of the tank for them, because they can't jump all the way to the top. But you can bait hungry guppies, so that's okay. And when guppies come out, they're always hungry to start. Um, are you gonna are you gonna explain that thing to me? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. What? It's all good. Oh, you're talking about the mermaid. Okay, so she, when she swims around, she sings, and all the fish drop more coins. No, I'm talking about. Whatever the hell that thing is that shows up and you get the diamond from it. Like the spawn of Satan just randomly shows up. Sometimes aliens hate fish. Okay then. <laughs> all the time aliens hate fish. Seymour. Seymour's nice because he makes all of their drops drop slower. So we have more time to click on them. Wadsworth we unlocked but I didn't use him immediately. His special ability is eating our guppies. That's good. This is helpful. I like Wadsworth, he's pretty cool. He has a very specific use, as far as I'm concerned, especially on the later tanks, because whenever aliens show up, he'll eat your guppies as long as they're not fully sized. 
So whenever it warns you about an alien encounter, I just slap in a new guppy whenever I have Wadsworth around, and that'll at least ensure that no matter what, I won't die during that encounter. I don't know why this is a normal speed. What have you done? Because the, the music. <laughs> Something important is happening. Is it? Somewhere. Just, just Wadsworth. Wadsworth doing his... doing his thing. Ooh, yeah, girl. <laughs> I, I'm not giving any of these coins enough time to hit the bottom of the tank, but they are going slower, trust me. So what was that, Tanks? Um, so why is he not eating the guppies right now? Because there's not an alien. Only when there's an alien will he eat a guppy. Yeah. Or do you have to direct them to eat the guppy? Yeah. What the fuck? Robot! Yes! I love the robot. <laughs> this is a robot. He targets our fish. Probably already talked about them. I don't remember. Yeah, we did. Fish are illegal organic-based life forms. You know, I'm pretty sure he was in the last video. Yeah, that's when we got to have the best fish. Oh no, you got be starved. You're a terrible fish owner. I was thinking about going through and doing statistics on my videos. <laughs> you don't really need guppies in this one. How many fish died, their cause of death. Also, this guy is a shit. Still. <laughs> it's it's why you get the uh, food amount upgrade. He's the entire reason, but I forgot that he showed up in this section. Earlier, I tried to get him down into the bottom. It's way easier to try and bait him up to the top because he he can't eat with his feet. Um. Okay. So what's this thing? <laughs> this thing's new. Oh, that is a beetle muncher. The names got really creative during the tail end of production. <laughs> Well, half these guys weren't in the original Flash game. Oh no, your fish is dead. Yep, that's another dead one. So bad at fish. Oh, it's that that's... shitlord again. Once I upgrade a food tier, I, I don't care about the lesser anymore. It, it is just food. Sometimes I buy too many. I don't really care. Everyone is mad at me because I am bad at fish games. What just happened? Yeah, I fought all the upgrades. <laughs> is the food drugs now? Like... Is, is Dr. Mario just spilling over into this now? He's dropping in some Tylenol extra strength, you know. Because... <laughs> For every guppy cruncher you have, you can sustain at least two beetle munchers. Whoa, please tell me you're using shrapnel. Yes, I will. Shrapnel is a very dangerous fellow. He drops a bomb worth X amount of pesos every so often, but the bomb, when it lands on your fish, it'll murder your fish. You don't want that to happen. Especially in a crowded tank. Ooga. Type P is... Type P detect. Oh, this guy. I don't <laughs> like this guy. This is Psycho Squid. He just gets. <laughs> he just gets off. <laughs> He's all oh, depressed, I'm depressed now. now. Shoot him too much, he gets his health back. He gets a lot of it back at once. Here we go again. And depressed again, and dead. I like how he jumped to the side just to eat your guppy. I know. <laughs> Psycho Squid is a shithead. <laughs> Basically. So is there a reason we're focusing on East Asia right now? That's the level we're in. 
It's just the theme of this world. Man, this... He's an octopus, he just keeps coming back. I think this is the first tank where he shows up, so he shows up a lot. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate that they give you very little time to get used to him because he's one of the harder enemies and there's not a lot of heads that are good against him. Or at least we don't have one of the more important ones just yet. Look, this is starting to become like a DBZ rivalry. I'm Goku. <laughs> this keeps on showing up. I will defeat you, Goku! <laughs> Gumbo immediately makes Wadsworth not worth anything. How so? See, Gumbo, his special ability is to lure guppies away when there's an alien in the tank. All sized guppies, I believe. Yes, they're not protected by being inside of a whale, so they can still be killed, but they're all centralized, so it's really difficult for that to happen. Unless you're fighting this guy, in which case, be careful, come on. To be fair, he wasn't in the uh, original Flash game, and I think Wadsworth was. Yeah. I haven't played the Flash game because, well, one of the three versions of this game. The Flash one just felt like a demo of this game. It pretty much is. I am Mudman. Feel my two second wrath. There was another slightly different Java version. This version is also written in Java, but it doesn't really show it. No, uh, it doesn't really feel like a Java program. I really like the mud guys, because if you hit them with their own uh, energy balls, they die quicker. Yeah. The energy balls do a hefty amount of damage. Their name is Ulysses. That's... a worthless name. Has... has nothing to do with the story of Odysseus, um... Oh no! Everything is ruined. We lost beetle eaters. Well... He, uh, fought a Cyclops, didn't he? Yeah, he, he is a Cyclops, but he's also made of mud and he's in a tank. Surrounded by fish. See, the amount of Guppy Crunchers, well, before I purchased 700 of them, was about 1 to 2. You're getting so paid right now. Blip is great. His, his use is very specific and may not be, you know, as important as Seymour. <laughs> it took me a couple seconds. I thought that was a butt. I just realized that's his nose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at it, it's a butt. I know, I know you're the butt lord, but come on. <laughs> so what just happened was Blip, from the get-go, unlocks everything. You don't have to get the upgrades in order. You don't have to wait to buy your first fish before you can buy the Guppy Cruncher or whatever the next tier of fish would be. In addition, he puts a little triangle above the head of a fish that starts feeling hunger. See, when a fish turns uh, green, they Whoa. that's when they're in the middle of the hunger. Additionally, it gives the enemy a health bar and shows you where they're going to spawn. Nice. It's a nice tool for uh, measuring just how much damage you're doing. It also shows you that most of the uh, laser upgrades aren't really worth it. Which is why I'm not going to get a single one. I don't know why I brought Shrapnel into this tank. Mm. It's just... I think a reason I brought him in was because I wanted it to get up. I wanted the... I mean, you're making money, so... 
Yeah, I wanted it to start up faster because ordinarily I would use somebody else. But for the sake of the video, I'm just trying to get money faster so that I can get through the game just a little bit faster. The startup, if you don't have a good startup, then everything will go to shit really fast. Mm hmm. Because as long as you have funds and you haven't spent it on upgrade, like the egg pieces. As long as you have some funds, you can recover from an extremely devastating setback, and it, you'll actually hardly notice because of how frequently they'll be producing money. Mm -hmm. Except for when Psycho Switch comes by, he's a fuck. I waved my mouse around his health bar to show you how much he healed when you shot him. I don't Damn. think it's proportionate to the strength of your gun. He just heals a lot with every shot, no matter what. Yeah. The pearls are worth a lot. Yeah, I, think, I think we caught on to that. But they're not worth that much more than the beetles. The reason they're valuable is because they seem to spawn more frequently than the beetles themselves. What do we find? What is it? It's a hermit crab! Rhubarb. Yeah! Bonus round. Rhubarb, he, he fiddles around the bottom of the tank, and then he will snap his claw at any of the fish that get too close to the bottom, so you don't have to worry about... The lightning round. ...any it's... of their drops just getting wasted. It's kind of bad to have him in a tank with uh, the uh, guppy crunchers, though. So. Yeah. They're not so useful, but we don't have to worry about that, because the next world is coming up, and we don't have the Guppy Crunchers. I didn't understand this game when I played it. 1982! Oh boy. 